Okay, sixth graders, we're going to start chapter three. Chapter three is uh, a lot to do with properties of numbers. In other words, uh, what do numbers do? What do they have in common? What are some things about numbers that we can learn? Okay? The first lesson is on divisibility. The divisibility of a number. What word do you see in the word divisibility? Divide. Divide, right. How can you divide? Can you, uh, can a number fit into another number? Is it divisible by a number? That's one of the properties of numbers. So for example, certain numbers are divisible by two. How do you know if they're divisible by two? If they have an even number in them? Yeah, if the last digit is an even number. If the last digit in the number is an even number. So what are even numbers? All even numbers end in, Bella? Two, four, six, eight. Correct. Or zero, yeah. So even numbers. Oh, whoops, I have young camera. Hi, yes, not what I wanted to do. There we go. And red, good. So even numbers, if they end in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. They have to end, the last digit ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight. Those are all even numbers, okay? Number, uh, what if, how do you know if a number is divisible by three? There's a rule for that. If you, uh, if you add numbers up, if you add what numbers up? Like the, the digits of that number? Yeah, the digits of that number. Isn't that cool? The digits of the number, if the sum of the digits of the number, if that sum is divisible by 3, then the whole number is divisible by 3. So for example, the number 189, is that divisible by 3? Mm -hmm. yes. Well, 1 plus 8 plus 9 equals 18, and since 18 is divisible by 3, we know that 18 divided by 3 is 6, that means 189 is divisible by 3. Okay? How about 343? That one ends in a 3, so that must be divisible by 3. Right? How would we check? How do we check to see if this number is divisible by 3? Aiden? 3 divided. 3 divided by 300. There's an easier way. Actually, there's a rule we could follow. And we could check. Look. 343. If we add the digits, 3 plus 4 plus 3, what's the sum of these digits? 3 plus 4 plus 3 is? 10. 10. Is 10 divisible by 3? No. Not evenly, no. And so 343 is not divisible by 3 evenly. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the whole number is divisible by 3. Okay? How about, oh, I'm sorry, let's go to 9 because 9 and 3 are very similar. Okay? The same rule applies for 9. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, then the number is divisible by 9. Think about the, the multiples of 9 that you know. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 60. And all of those that you know that you've memorized What's 1 plus 8? 9. What's 2 plus 7? 9. What's 3 plus 6? 9. 4 plus 5? 9. 5 plus 4? 9. 6 plus 3? 9. 7 plus 2? 9. 8 plus 1? 9. 9 plus 0? 9. 9 plus 9? 9. It's easy. Is 9 plus 9 divisible by 9? No. Yes. Sorry. Uh, is 99 divisible by 9? Yeah. 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 What would 
the next multiple be? 108. 108. Is that 108 divisible by 9? Yeah. What are the, what's the sum of 108? The sum nine. of the digits of 108 is 9. Yep. And so you can check to see if that number is divisible by 9 just by adding up the digits. Okay? How about 5? <clears throat> How do you know if a number is divisible by 5? If it ends in a 0 or a 5. Yep. If the number ends in a 0 or a 5. Yep. And 4. This one you might not be as familiar with, but <coughs> this rule. How do you know if a number is divisible by 4? Well, it says, if the last two digits in the number are divisible by 4, then the number is divisible by 4. So what are some multiples of 4 that you know? What, what numbers uh, are divisible by 4 that you know? 4, Okay, let's stop there. Let's stop there. Wow. Okay? Now, uh, let's get this. Uh, what are some two-digit numbers? The first two-digit number that's divisible by 4 is 12. So if a number ends in 12, 712, 312, 812, um, 112, those are all divisible by what? Four. 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 Because the last two digits are divisible by four. Okay? What about 16? If the last two digits end in a 16, then it's divisible by 4. So, 3,116. 5,216. Wow. Um, 8,100. Oh, we already did 100. 8,716. Now, should we check and see if this actually works? Uh, maybe. Let's try it. Let's see if this number is actually divisible by 4. So, how many times does 4 go into 7? 1. One. one time. Remainder is 3. Bring down the 1. 4 goes into 31. Uh, six times. No, seven, seven. Six. Seven times. Seven. seven times four is 28. Yeah. Remainder is 30. There's three. Eight. Bring down the two. Eight. That one worked. Uh, yeah! Eight. Because four goes into 32. Eight times. How about this one? Let's try this one and see if the 16s work. Four goes into five. One once. once. Remainder one. Bring down the two. Three. Four goes into twelve three, three. times. Five. Remainder zero. Bring down the one. Zero. zero. Four goes into one zero times. Bring down the six. Four, Four goes into sixteen. Four. Times. It worked. Okay. Any questions on divisible by four? If the number ends in a number, if the last two digits are divisible by four, then the number is divisible by four. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Mm. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, find some numbers that are divisible by those numbers. I'm going to put you into groups, and I want you to find five numbers that are greater than a thousand that are divisible by two, and then by three, and then by six. Oh, wait, wait a second, we didn't talk about six. How do you know if a number is divisible by six? <laughs> well, if, if the number is divisible by two, 
and by 3, then the number is divisible by 6. Do you have to write the 6 down? Yeah. Okay. I forgot about 6 and 8. We're going to do 6. If the number is divisible by 2 and by 3, then it's also divisible by 6. Yes. Write this one down. So look at this example. 246. Okay. It ends in a 6, so it, it's an even number, which means we know it's divisible by 2. How do you know if it's divisible by 3? You have to add the digits. 2 plus 4 plus 6. What's 2 plus 4 plus 6? Well, 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 6 is 12. And 12 is divisible by 3. Therefore, this number is divisible by 6. How about 252? Well, that's 6 higher. We know that that one will be divisible by, um, by 6 also. How about an example like this? 381. Is that divisible by 6? Well, it ends in a 1. It's not even, is it? So it's not divisible by 2. Therefore, it cannot be divisible by 6. Because the, in order for it to be divisible by 6, it has to be even, and the sum of the digits, 3 plus 8, which is 11, plus 1 is 12. So this number is divisible by what? Since the sum of the digits is 12, the number is divisible by 3. Because three, uh, 12 is divisible by 3. But it's not even, so it's not divisible by 6. Okay? Any questions on 6? On how to find if it's divisible by 6? No. Did you write that down?